What is going on guys? Evan here from Sports Corner. I'm back with another video on the channel. Today we got our first college football 25 rebuild with the Navy Midshipmen. Captain Meek Mill will be taking over the Navy Midshipmen and trying to win a national championship. Our goal for year one is to win seven games and this is our schedule. We're going to change up our schedule though. I don't want to play an FCS team in week one. We're going to play some hard competition, get this rebuild off to a tough start. I'm going to schedule Texas A&M on the road for week one instead of some boring FCS school. But we're in the American Conference and we got a pretty solid schedule. We're going to have to run through the American, get some wins this year with our Navy squad. The realistic expectation for year one is to make a bowl game. This is going to be a long-term thing. I'm not going to be able to win and rebuild this team. It's going to be a series. Trying to get the Navy midshipmen a national championship. Going to have to recruit well. Going to have to get some wins. So throughout the series, you guys will see how NCAA football works, how to recruit. Hope I can do a decent job of that and show you guys how to find some good gems. And already we're looking at our recruiting board here. We already got our targets, our hours. As you can see, Thomas Hawkins is kind of the main guy we're recruiting here at the quarterback position. Navy's more of a run-heavy offense, and I like to air it out personally. It's my play style, but Thomas Hawkins, you know, hopefully he can help us out. He is a gem three-star quarterback with 90 throw power, currently favored to go here, so we're definitely going to offer him a scholarship. And we're just going to go through our whole recruiting board here. We got Mo Adani who's another quarterback, a Juco kind of guy though. And he's also got a big arm. And he actually commits to us instantly off of the first offer. So there's our first commitment for this video and for this series. Mo Adani is going to be our future quarterback probably for a year or two. And this is the roster we're starting out with. We got Blake Horvath. He'll be our year one starting quarterback. Solid running back here, Brandon Chapman. Not a bad running back to start out with. Receiver core, Nathan Kent is going to be our best option. 96 speed, really fast guy. And the rest of the guys are kind of mid. And so we look at the team here. The offensive line for Navy. For American Conference standards, it's not terrible. Pretty 70s, pretty mid, 70s across the board. We got Justin Reed over there, Luke Pierce. And our best player overall on the squad is our linebacker Colin Ramos he's one of our best overall players we got peel it corner he's pretty solid the cornerback room is pretty weak though and then Ryan Lane is one of our best options then we got Garrison Meekins who we're pretty weak at strong safety so that's the roster and we're gonna kick off this rebuild at Kyle Field in Texas A&M the toughest place to play in all of college football 25 and here we go Blake Horvath coming out on the field. It's going to be tough to score points against this Aggie defense. Here's the first play, and it's blown up in the backfield. Yeah, that's a sign of things to come here. As we got a third down and 11. Looking down the field, and that throw was not a good one. So we punt the ball to Texas A&M, and we'll see how we fare on the defensive side. Here's a handoff on the first play of the game, and the Aggies are already into Navy territory with just one play. And here we go. We have a second down and three. They'll run a fake jet touch pass. Down the field goes Wigman, and it's a broken tackle down to the three. Here's Wigman takes a huge shot. It'll be a second down and goal from the five. And Wigman dropping back. It's third and goal. He'll fire, and that's going to be caught for a touchdown. Texas A&M takes the lead. And now they have the ball back quickly in our territory. Wigman handing it off. Here's the run and the ball comes out. It's recovered by Navy. But unfortunately, as you guys can see, it didn't really matter too much. It didn't really matter what we do as Texas A&M can pretty much do whatever they want, break as many tackles as they want. And we ended up losing 27 to seven. Not a great performance from us in our first game, but again, going on the road to A&M, never a realistic possibility. So we're keeping it going on the recruiting trail. Thomas Hawkins close to locking us into the top five. We're also leading for four-star tight end Clyde Glenn. Again, most four-stars probably don't want to come here, so we're really going to have to recruit those three-star gems, and just three stars in general is going to be our best bet. Again, we got Sidney Busby, who's interested in us. And I mean, again, Navy, we're like a one-star, two-star prestige right now, so definitely not bringing in those recruits. So we just have to get these three stars, develop them, Try to have some good seasons in the American. I put a couple five stars on the board who didn't lock us out immediately, but yeah. So here we go. We're now heading into our first conference game against Temple, and Brandon Chapman's going to pick up a first down there. And now here's a big run. The fullback getting active right here, breaking tackles into to Temple territory. Third down and 12. Horvath has a lot of time. Throwing over the middle. That's to our number one receiver, Kent, picking up the first down. 
And now here we go. Faking the hand off to Chapman. Down the field we go. Looking for Kent. And it's batted away. Not a bad idea, though. And here we go. Third and four. Going down low. It's caught. It's going to be just short of the first down. But we go for it, man. We're going for it. Fourth and inches. Awkward fullback dive. But we get to our fullback for the first down. Now first down and ten. We'll toss it out to Brandon Chapman. Tried it a spin move. He got stuffed, though. Second down and 10, Horvath looking end zone, and it's just a bit short. I wanted to go to the end zone there, but we've got, we got a first down and goal up the middle, bruising run, and touchdown Navy. Huge touchdown, our first touchdown in conference play. Now a third down and one, running it to the other side, and Colin Ramos making a great tackle. And we have the ball back. Here's Horvath looking downfield. Beautiful throw to Ken for the first down. We got a lot more time to throw today than we did against Texas A&M. We're up 7-0 facing a fourth down and inches on defense. Here's the handoff. And he sheds off the tackle. Not much you can do there. Another broken tackle and Temple is in the end zone. But right before... The end of the half here, looking to go downfield, and it's caught! Touchdown, Kent! Touchdown, Navy! As you can see, Nathan Kent, quite a stud here for Temple, as we're just getting tackles broken all day. Not much we can do, man. Heisman difficulty, I forgot to mention that. We are playing this on Heisman difficulty, and there's not really much you can do sometimes on Heisman against these running backs. They'll just bruise and break tackles. Tie game at 14. Here the throw. And it's intercepted. That is going to be a pick six for Navy. That's a game-changing play for us. Again, we have to win these American Conference games if you want to make a bowl game. And we get a pick six. Here's a throw. It gets batted way up in the air. And it's going to be intercepted again. The midshipman defense is dominating this game. Back-to-back -back pick sixes. And we lead by 14. And now Temple would get a score back. So we're going to look downfield. Down goes Horvath. Up the field. What a catch by Kent. And he is off to the races. Nathan Kent is unstoppable today. Touchdown, Navy. And now we have a huge fourth down and goal to seal the victory against Temple. They're going to run it. And we stuffed them. And that is going to end this ball game. We get the win. Our first win in this Navy rebuild. What a day for our star receiver, Nathan Kent. And that's going to do it for episode one. We're only going to be doing a couple games per video. So thank you guys for watching episode one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. One-on-one -on -one with Navy. Not a bad start to the rebuild.